Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, uh, it is Halloween for me, guys, and I know that Halloween is probably already over for most people, but I still wanted to celebrate uh, with a special Halloween episode. And so you can see here we are at the entrance to what I like to call the lava cave. It is the cave in kind of the south here. And so what we are going to do is head on into this particular cave and uh, we're gonna go in and try to tame ourselves an Araneo, which is one of the spiders, and an Onik, which is one of the bats. Uh, so to prepare for this, I have gotten as much ghillie armor as I possibly can. Um, so I do have a couple of ascendant ghillie um, items, uh, the mask the uh, chest piece and then the legs which are pretty good so we will be pretty well insulated from the heat and the creatures should have a pretty hard time seeing us now on top of that um, I do also have bug repellent um, and lots and lots of spoiled meat uh, just for the Araneo and then quite a bit of raw meat as well for the Onik um, which hopefully uh, is going to be enough to get us in there and yeah get us safely in and out I do have one soothing bomb I'm actually going to purchase one more um, there we go so now we have two soothing bombs and actually I'm gonna have to rearrange my inventory bar here guys I'm gonna put the soothing bomb there for now and the bug repellents here there we go um, so we should be okay Ooh, here goes nothing, guys. I'm super excited about this. I have been wanting to tame these creatures for a very long time. Now, the trick is going to be getting one that's kind of isolated and by itself. Um, we are in pretty good ghillie, so we shouldn't have too much issue uh, getting around without being attacked, as long as we are very careful not to touch anything. The issue is going to be once we do have something that we are taming... Um, to not let it basically to to once it's tamed to not let it gain all the aggro of everything else in the area uh, because that could cause some pretty big problems all right so you can already see there's like a ton of onic in this area and quite a few araneo this is actually a very probably very dangerous thing i'm attempting to do right now um level 10 I don't want to actually touch it. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So we should be okay. It is soothing bombed. Let's go ahead and use some raw meat. All right. So it is taming up. Um, we're going to have to wait until it's hungry. Luckily, nothing is moving right now, so I think I'm just not going to move. Um, I'm just going to stand here and try to target it from about this distance because uh, I really don't want to have it... Um, I don't want to have it aggro by moving any closer. So I'm just going to hang out here. It should only take a, a couple of bites here. Uh, it's a level 60, which is not the highest level we could get, but it's also not the worst. All right, come on, Onik, get hungry again. I'm actually afraid to move here, guys. All right, finally. Uh, that took quite a while, guys. That was actually like a solid two minutes of waiting around for it to get hungry again. Um, yeah, that was that was really incredibly long. Hopefully, these next few feedings go a little bit quicker. Um, it should only take two more feedings uh, to actually get this guy tamed up. And wow. Um, it definitely feels like we're doing something a little bit dangerous here in this cave with all of these creatures around. Especially since uh, odds are as soon as this guy tames up, everything is going to aggro. So my current plan is to whistle passive and run out of the cave as fast as I can because the onyx should follow. Um, ooh, there we go. One more feeding, guys. Ooh, I'm so excited. And then once we have this onyx tamed, uh, we can come back in and try to tame... Like, maybe that spider down there. Uh, I do have the Araneo saddle on me, so it's just going to be a matter of making sure that we can get out safely with the Onik. 
um, and then trying to get out safely with an Araneo. So I do think the biggest issue is probably going to be just uh, a little bit of crowd control here as we're actually taming these creatures. All right, so we should be getting really close now. We'll see if everything actually aggros on us. I really, really hope it doesn't, but uh, odds are they will. All right, here it is. Nope, can we get it in focus? Oh, it looks like we might be okay. I'm just gonna run. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys, it looks like the other Onik did not aggro. This is amazing. Um, that's actually really, really good. Yeah, the, the less they aggro, the happier I am. So we are going to have to lead this guy out kind of slowly. Uh, he did come out at level 89, which is actually not too bad. Oh, he's so cute. I love bats, guys. Like, bats are some of the coolest creatures on Earth. So I'm really happy that the Onik are in the game. Even if, uh, even if they really don't have too much of a purpose in terms of the actual gameplay, uh, they look really cool, and I'm really glad they're tameable because uh, it's perfect for something like Halloween where you just really, really want to have one of these creatures around. Um, it's super awesome. All right, come on. And for some reason, uh, oh, Goblin was following me, so let's stop you. And ride you out of the cave. Come on, Onik. You can do it. Alright, we've almost got him out here. Uh, we just need to get him past all of the crystals. And then we will run straight back in and try to tame ourselves in Araneo, guys. Oh, man. It's so good. I love Halloween. And this is my personal little way of celebrating. Because um, Halloween was kind of in the middle of the week this year, so... Uh, didn't really get to do much for it since I have to work on either end of it. So I'm really excited that I was able to, uh, celebrate it in this way on the game with you guys. It's really kind of amazing. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop this guy. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little bat face. Oh my goodness. I really like the Onik. Uh, they look super cool. And they never do land, so that is kind of an interesting thing about them as well. Uh, so it's kind of hard to park them anywhere. They kind of just have to float around your base, um, which will be kind of interesting in our particular base, but uh, should be all right. Okay, so he came out with pretty terrible stats. Um, pretty high melee, actually, for, for his level, though, which is pretty good. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's only level 89. We're taming him mostly as a Halloween decoration, so I'm totally okay with that. All right, guys. So we are going to run back into the cave and uh, check out that first spider. Oop, there we go. Okay. So we're going to keep on moving here. Um, okay, so we have to run all the way back down into this cave. Uh, urf, okay, cliffs, crystals. It is kind of a long way in and out, um, which is a little bit interesting. So it does want us to find the artifact. I actually have no interest in that. Uh, there's my bug repellent, so really, with the ghillie that I have, I probably do not need to use the bug repellent that I have on. Are any of these good onic? Just, ooh, level 85. Um, I am a little curious about them, but I also don't want to die. Oh no, the scorpion. Okay, um, I just don't want everything else in the area to aggro with the scorpion. Uh, ooh, my pike's almost dead too, which is not good. Luckily, it's only at level 10, so we should be okay. Just gotta actually get this guy killed. Uh, and it looks like there is, unfortunately, another scorpion down there as well. Uh, a couple of them. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, my pike might not actually last that long, guys. Um, oh no, it's coming. Whoop, I thought I was gonna be able to get arrows on. All right, get stuck. No, don't be smart. Don't be intelligent. What? That's not okay. All right. Uh, not good. Nope. Leave me alone. I do not want to get torpored. I really, really don't. Oh, my pike is so close to breaking, guys. I definitely should have repaired my pike before I came. I just didn't think about it. Um, these are trank arrows. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't knock me out. 
No. These are not the right arrows for this. Okay, I hate using drink arrows on this, but I'm out of options. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so we narrowly avoided death. Definitely going to equip the correct arrows on my, uh, on my bow there. And let's go ahead and just grab both of my bows. Make sure both of them are equipped. Now, I don't have a melee weapon, but I should be able to hold them off with a good crossbow um, if I am careful. Unfortunately, I am now getting pretty high torpor. So I might actually go um, get some stem berries, and then I will bring you guys back when we actually find a spider to tame. So I will see you guys in uh, just a minute here. All right, guys. So we are back, and uh, I did not have any luck getting a spider in the lava cave Uh Every time I went back in, there were just scorpions and dillos and, like, no spiders. So now we're going to try um, this cave, the Cave in the South, which is the easiest cave. Uh, it's the cave with the artifact of the hunter. Uh, we recently did get the artifact from this on this series. And so I thought it would be pretty easy to come in here um, and try to get ourselves an Araneo. So... Now, I do know that spiders spawn in here quite a bit, and I also happen to know that our saber can handle just about anything else that comes our way, so we should be pretty safe. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually leave this saber here. It should be okay. I don't... Yeah, it's not following me. Okay, so we should be fine. Um, and what we're going to do is bug repellent up and go check out this cave because I know that spiders spawn here and I know that we will be able to tame one in here uh, provided we don't run into any snakes uh, or scorpions. Um, so what we're looking for is just like a little pack of spiders or maybe a spider off by itself because we should be able to approach that without too many problems and if we do get in trouble we can just run back up to goblin our saber and be pretty okay. All right, so it does unfortunately look like there are a lot of snakes. Uh, oh, artifact. I mean, uh, explorer note. Okay. All right, so there are snakes down there. Oh, but there are spiders over here, guys. Okay. So I'm going to move really slow. Yes. Okay. Um, what level are you? And then what level are you? 25. Okay, we're going to go for the level 60 here uh, because we can. So I'm going to get just close enough. There we go. All right. So now, okay, I have the soothing bomb. There we go. Perfect. Uh, so now I get to feed it uh, spoiled meat, which is their preferred food. Oh, this is going to be quick, guys. Um, so as long as that first initial hunger thing doesn't last absolutely forever, we should be okay here. Um, it's already at 44%, so this is going to be a fairly quick tame, provided that this actually uh, goes a little bit quicker than the Araneo, than the uh, Onyx did with um, its first food thing, because that took like a full two minutes for it to get hungry. So um, hopefully this one takes a little bit less time. Uh, all right, guys. We Man, they are so slow, aren't they? Um, it is super cool being able to come into a cave and have nothing aggro on you. It's, man, ghillie suits and bug repellent are super, super OP, guys, if you're just ever wondering. Oh, good, it's already hungry. Perfect. So this should be a really quick tame. Now, I'm hoping, once again, that nothing aggro's on it, just like what happened with the bat, where nothing aggroed on it once you tamed it. Um, I'm really hoping that happens again here. If it does, uh, we could be in trouble. Oh, no, we're okay. Come with me. All right. Oh, no. Whoops. I ran right over the dossier. Okay, there we go. That scared me, legitimately. Um, all right. Here we go. So we've got our little uh, spider friend. Oh, my gosh, she's so cute, guys. I am very happy. It's all purple and green. It is very Halloween. I love it. Uh, it would only be more Halloween if the green was an orange color or something like that. That would be pretty good. All right, so we're going to bring everything back out of the cave. That is the goal here today. Uh, there's our goblin friend. All right, so we have the goblin, the spider, and uh, the bat, which is pretty good. 
Unfortunately, uh, Titan Boas are not tameable, or else I would probably be trying to tame one of those as well. Um, and Scorpions are tameable, but uh, I've tamed those before, guys. I've tamed a lot of Scorpions. And I was way more excited about taming these, these harder-to-get cave dinos that are kind of passive tames, which are uh, just a bit of a different mechanic and kind of interesting. All right, so... Boy, spiders are slow. They do have that really cool web attack that I can't wait to try out because I very rarely tame spiders uh, just because they're not the most useful creatures in the world. Although that web attack can be useful if you prefer to tame creatures without traps the way that I do because it does slow them down. Uh, now the problem is is that spiders are so slow anyway that it may not do you any good. <laughs> um, so you do have to kind of be careful about that to stay out of reach of the bigger creatures. All right, can you come with me? Come with me. Oh my gosh, guys, they're so slow getting them out of the cave. But it must be done. Um, so I did leave the onyx by the entrance of that other cave. It should be okay. I took the implant. Uh, we're going to request it back to base because that is a little bit quicker. So once we get over there on Goblin, um, we're going to have it just be requested to us rather than having to... Uh, have it follow us all the way back because that would be incredibly slow. And we're going to do the same thing with the Araneo here. Where we're just going to request it back once we're done kind of testing it out in this area. Alright, come on you. Alright, so slow. Now, the Onik is not rideable, guys. Um, and you do have to be, I believe, level 65 to tame those guys. Uh, the Araneo is a little bit easier to get. Um, what level is the saddle? I forget. Uh, let's go ahead and actually look for that so I can let you guys know. All right, level 40. Right, so the Araneo saddle is a level 40. Um, Araneo? Araneo? I have no idea. Um, I'm going to keep calling it an Araneo just because that's how I'm used to saying it, but uh, Araneo may be a little bit more correct. I have no idea. Words are word, guys. They just work. All right, come on. Oh, it's so slow. Come on. We will eventually get out of this cave. It will be great. It would probably be faster if I rode it out, but I have a strong suspicion that I am actually too heavy for this guy. I think he may be stuck. All right. Um, I think I'm too heavy for him, but we're going to have to give it a try to get him out of the cave because I'm pretty sure he's stuck right there. Uh, okay, you're not following me. Good. Oh, no, you're good. Okay, come on. Come on, little spider friend. Oh, it's so cute, guys. It is so, so cute. Look at its face. Oh, with his little red dot eyes and his big old fangs. Oh, my goodness. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, so we got to do this, guys. We definitely need to um, give him some meat. And, yeah, let's go ahead and try him out. Um, uh, actually, we aren't weighing him down all that much, which is kind of great. Okay, um, so, oh man, they skitter so funny. Oh my goodness. And then they have their little bite attack. Oh, and then they have their big old web attack. Oh, that's crazy. So it like shoots off. Oh no, I hit the trike. That's not good. Stay webbed. Stay webbed. Oh no. Stay webbed. Um, Alright, this maybe is not good. Oh boy. He looks angry. And I'm out of stam. Oh boy. Uh, let's, let's not get killed by stuff. That would be good. Okay, uh, let's get... No, no, no. Oh no. Wait, how did we get so heavy? What? How? How all of a sudden did we get heavy? Oh, that's frightening. Okay. I don't understand, guys. We were just, we were just fine. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I guess I'm going to drop that and that. What even happened? Okay. Um, Jeez, that was really weird. So I wonder if that was like some sort of 
bug with the weight. It must have been something weird. Because um, as you can see, I, I am not using any cheats right now. Actually, I should be using Bright Night now that I'm thinking about it. So I really don't know what's going on there. Um, super weird. Okay, so actually let's go ahead um, and get Goblin to follow us if we can. Ugh, this is going to be so frustrating. I don't want to be this way down. Um, maybe if we drop that... And we're going to have to go put stuff on to Goblin in order to uh, get past some of this. All right. We can do that. We can put some stuff back onto the Saber real quick. Uh, we'll transfer that. We'll transfer that and that. Uh, and all of those and all of those. And all of the spoiled meat here. Okay. So now we should be okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's still pretty tough because apparently Araneos have basically no weight, um, which is really strange because we were doing fine before, but there you go. And yeah, uh, other than that, they are super, super awesome, guys. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually try to take something on. I believe we have basically no health, um, which is not good. Yeah, we have 660 health, so let's not try to take on anything too big, but we can definitely try to kill something that's a little bit smaller here. Oh, a Parasaur. Let's do that. Uh, Parasaurs tend to run when you attack them, so... Can we... There we go. We'll use our little web attack. Okay, and they attack pretty quickly as well, which is super great. There we go. Okay. Um, so that actually wasn't too bad as far as it goes. Now, we also don't have a lot of stam, and it kind of looks like we're sitting on this poor thing's head instead of its, like, actual thorax, which is a little bit funny, but there you go. Um, that is how Ark is designed sometimes. Okay, can we find anything else? I think it would be really great if we found a raptor. An over-raptor. That's almost a raptor. Can we... Eh, yes. Oh no, we're out of stam. We're out of stam. You need stam to catch the things. Nope, it's gonna get away. They're so fast. Eh. Oh, oh cool. Okay, so the web attack also does damage, which is, uh, that's good to know. Um, I'm definitely gonna not try to fire it at trikes because we have so little stamina that they probably will kill us. Uh, in fact, I'm actually going to level up Stam because it's so bad. 20 points. All right, so you could get a reasonable amount of stamina with uh, leveling up if you started with a creature like this. It's not great, but it is something. Eh, come here. And it looks like nothing is aggroing on us, which is interesting. Um... Even though we're attacking it. That's really, really weird, guys. I'm not sure how I feel about that in particular. All right. But it's still pretty cool. Um, and this spider is beautiful. It's actually not purple. It's blue and green, which I could not see in the cave lighting. It was a little bit too dark. So, yeah. Um, a pretty neat creature with their little web attack and then their little bite attack. And uh, their terrible, terrible stats. Uh, and their really poorly placed saddle. Um... Yeah, like, why would you sit on its head? That makes no sense, but there you go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head back to Goblin here because it would take us literally forever to get across the map on uh, this little spider dude with his stamina. And we're going to take everything off him and request it and the, the bat back to base and kind of put them up as little Halloween decorations. Um, and maybe I'll even put up the gravestones that we got from our pumpkins the other day because I'm in the Halloween mood, guys. So I will see you guys when we get back to base in uh, just a few, well, probably quite a few minutes here. All right, guys. So yeah, we have these guys safely back at base. Uh, we are riding the spider. The Onik is hanging out with us. And guys, we are going to need some awesome Halloween-themed names for these guys. So please leave your suggestions in the video comments down below. And, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention, you can actually pull out tools on the back of the spider 
which makes them actually very useful for taming if you can slow a creature down, um, especially an aggressive one, probably like the Theri. If you had a little bit more stamina so you could actually run away, uh, this would actually be a pretty great uh, mount for that kind of thing. All right, guys. So I do think that that is going to do it for today's episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying it at any point, please remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.